for you here. Boot and gluten. One third of American adults say they are trying to eliminate gluten from their diet. That's according to an article in The New Yorker. Proponents of a gluten-free diet claim that eliminating the protein can cure ailments ranging from headaches to insomnia. Now, this is a, a big oh, topic. I, I know strong you have strong feelings, feelings about this. Strong should, the average, feelings. should the average person at home cut gluten out of their diet? Here's the thing. Gluten-free, as, as a theory, is a, a very good thing. 8% of people in America suffer from gluten intolerance. So if you could eliminate highly processed flours from your diet, good thing. The problem is now it has become a fad. So it is a $7 billion a year business. And you go to the grocery store and everything is labeled gluten-free. Highly processed foods are la labeled gluten-free. You flip them over, they have replaced the flour with tapioca and potato starch. Zero, zero nutritional value. They've loaded the foods with sugar. So now gluten-free is becoming the new fat-free, which we all know at the end of the day makes America fatter. Oh, Michael it is Simon. A this dish, Mr. Simon, is gluten-free. Gluten-free the right way with real food cooked without gluten. If you want to do your body a favor, eat unprocessed real food. Do not get sucked into another fad diet for f sake.